<laughs> what is going on, guys? Welcome back. I am Chrysalanius. We are doing another Global Pokemon Society battle today. We are going up against the mighty Psyducks. So we have to connect to the internet. We have to get ready. Um, they're already waiting in a room. Let me send them a little message update. Perfect. All right, so let's connect to the internet. This is the wrong button to do it. L. L. Internet, please. Please. Anyway, guys, uh, we are connected to the internet. We are going up against the mighty Psyducks, like I said. Please. That was weird. Please support the Global Pokemon Society release of any content surrounding the tournaments that they host. Let's see, we want a link battle. Our code is 14242574. Yes, all right. Perfect. But yeah, Global Pokemon Society, Ryan over there, uh, works really hard to make things like this possible. Keep us organized. Let us know the individual stats and performances. Of and, uh, you know, we work hard to make sure our team goes out there and gives it a, their all. He works hard to make sure this whole thing stays afloat. Um, uh, this all looks good to me. Let's get it going. Participating team. This is the same team as last week. I probably should have restructured it, but overall, I think I'm still okay with these selections. Um, we're going to go Torkoal because Torkoal, he's going to be our lead. We can start with some, um, Trap setting with him as far as the stealth rocks go. Anyway, good luck to our opponent, the Mighty Psydux. We have gone up against them previously. Great team, great head coach. I've actually been on a podcast with him, um, the Global Pokemon Society podcast. <sighs> I've never seen that Pokemon before. I'm immediately in love. It's beautiful. Stealth rocks. Super effective, but it did like 12 damage. I do have to say, I love the moves that, uh, what was that called? Flip turn? I think that's a new move. I love the moves that do an attack and return the Pokemon back to you. Um, there's a couple of them. U-turn is the bug one. Uh, there is Volt Switch for electric type Pokemon. Absolute big fan of those, especially in the competitive scene. Let's see what he's bringing out next. I actually didn't get a close enough look at his entire team. Hatterene. So he avoided the damage. How? Bitch. How? How does that happen? Let's do a quick research. Uh, can ha... I mean, I know, I know it can, but... Can Hatterene bounce back Stealth Rocks? I just want to know why that happens. Because is, is it worth trying again? Damn. Yo, that's kind of rude. That's kind of rude. Will it happen again? This, uh, maybe I shouldn't play this way right now. All right, guys. Uh, first match is over. Uh, me and my opponent agreed that they won fair and square. Um, what we did end up realizing, though, so we've had uh, so many issues. 
Uh, I selected the wrong rules in the beginning, as you guys saw. Right? Okay. Uh, then in the second match, um, I accidentally put two of his Pokemon to sleep. It, that's against the rules. So I went and forfeited the match because I, I didn't mean to. I didn't remember at the time of using the move that uh, one Pokemon was already put to sleep. So I honor that and I tell him, hey, great feedback, great job with your team, love it. Um, and he he's double checking his team. He's like, you know what? I just realized my Pokemon had two choice scarves. So let's just redo the whole thing. Um, well, the whole second match. And I'm like, you got it, dude. You got it. So, oops. That's where we're at. We're now connected to the internet. Uh, we're going to do round two again. If we win, <laughs> then one, two, five, seven, four. Oh, no, he's using a different code this time. Okay. We're one, four, two, four. Five one, six six. So we both kind of messed that up, um, and you know, no hard feelings either way. Uh, at first, I did not realize that he did anything wrong, and I definitely wouldn't have realized it. So props to him; the win was in his hands. I had already forfeit, um, but just gotta give props for him honoring that. Uh, I would not have known that his Pokemon had the same item. So, I just appreciate that honesty. Uh, I do also have to point out, um, apparently, when I was on this screen, my microphone was not turned on. Um, thanks a lot, OBS. All this, sh it's so much, so many scenes to keep track of all the time. Anyway, fuck, see? <laughs> Did I type it in wrong? One, four, two, four. Two, five, six. Yeah, I did. Two, five, six, six. There you go. So anyway, uh, now my microphone is working on both my scenes. Uh, we agreed to have a rematch and bygones, bygones. Or should I say, bygones, bygones. Fuck, I did it again. <laughs> uh. This will be interesting, though. We've had two matches. Almost, we basically had two and a half matches at this point. This is where I messed up before. All right, all right. We want this one. Set all to level 50. But yeah, it'll be super interesting because we've basically had two and a half matches at this point. Um, even if my team wins and we go to a tiebreaker, uh, my boy here will have so much experience against my team, just the, the tonight, the last hour, uh, that we, <laughs> it's anybody's game, you know? So let's, uh, I'm excited to see what happens because we're not trying to recreate something that shouldn't, that went wrong before. We are just going at it again. Same teams. Um, and his item is different. I don't know what item he switched out, but I know there's one less choice scarf in the mix. Um, so we'll see how big of an impact that really has. You know what, I'm now thinking that that move he uses always goes first. And before, when I picked Liligant, I, I was just kind of thinking, oh, maybe Liligant's a little faster or something. Um, we'll see. Either way is okay. Who's he switching into? Neuburn. Fair choice. Fair choice. Nice, Liligant. Nice. Um, Torkoal. And then Stealth Fox. Or, I forgot, does his Neuvern no Earth power? Is that something that happened previously? 
feel like it is. Hurricane. All right, we can. <sighs> Yo, Torkoal is fast as fuck, boy. He avoided a hurricane. Oh, he withdrew him. Interesting. Palafin? <laughs> Jesus Christ, I love that. <laughs> I love Palofit. I love Palofit. It's it's the goat. The goat. Absolutely love it. <laughs> Wave crash? Okay. I'm just use this anyway. I knew he was gonna switch out. The seed bomb still does a decent amount against Flareon. Just saying. Boom. Do it again. Do it again. Oh yeah, because Leafeon is faster than Flareon. I don't think he was expecting that. Which is fair. <laughs> Who are you bringing out next? Noiver? Girl? Point and stones, let's go. Do that. I don't know, does Leech Seed go away when your Pokemon does Leech Seed go away when you switch? Okay, so from what I can tell, it looks like it does not go away unless the target goes away. Dragon Pulse! Oh. oh. Are we getting Aqua Dolphin back? We are. Look at that guy. Look at him go. He's so fucking. He's a cool Pokemon. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I love it so much. It's so funny. Oh my god. It's so funny. Palafin. Palafin. What is Palafin's speed like, though? Yo, he's fast as fuck, boy. He's fast as fuck, boy. Yeah, we're not throwing Charizard into that mix. Ha! That's a good swap. Poison jab. 
There's a chance it could poison him if he tries to switch out. Chance it could poison uh, who he switches to. And he, I know he's got one Pokemon that really can't handle the poison jab. So we'll see what that is. Okay, Noivern, reasonable. I actually really like that he went into Wyvern, but he does have Roost. <laughs> Toxicroak. Dude, Noivern Toxicroaked. That's what I'm talking about. Sandy Shocks. Static Shock! Yeah, he one shots. So. Yeah, he'd be in a pretty rough position as well. What do we get? Stealth Rocks? Oh, how dare he? I don't think he has anything especially worth worrying about. Either way, I really should have just gone with Sleep Powder. <laughs> oh well. Hatterene. Okie dokie then. Hatterene. If we can put Hatterene to sleep, we can win this. Because Hatterene was the most questionable Pokemon on his team in previous battles. Like, oh, how do we deal with it? You know what I mean? So if I put Hatterene to sleep, he will either um, leave it out to see if it can wake up, or he'll switch it out. And it'll still be asleep when we get it back. So. Yeah, I'm going to go for the sleep powder because it's just too valuable. I know he's going to switch out, but it's too valuable of an opportunity. He may think Lily or Hatterene can one-shot Lillian, you know, so. He might go for that attack. Who knows? That offense. Interesting. No way! You can't do that! <laughs> you can't do that. <laughs> That's awful, dude. What the fuck? <laughs> oh my god. Lilligant, Lilligant the goat, the greatest of all time. <laughs> That's so dumb. But now I don't know how to deal with the Hatterene. <laughs> like, can't be put to sleep, so. Oh my god. That's hilarious. This fucking thing. You can do it, Goku. I figured out how to deal with Hatterene. Figured it out. Easy.
Which, if all, if all goes well, we go into about round three. I'm totally here for it. Round three is going to be, like, the most exciting shit we've seen all season from the Diamond Desert Dwellers. <laughs> we got Palafin. Palafin. Okay. This will be interesting. I think I have the upper hand here, but maybe he's bringing Palafin out for a reason. I don't like whatever that was. Tightening its focus. It can focus on death, bro. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> I just can't believe everything that's like led us to this point. Just in our one match with the mighty side. It's, it's ridiculous. Gengar. I think we can take Gengar out with a Terra Blast. Out of respect, I'm not going to put him to sleep. That would be so mean. Last Pokemon. Like, no way. <laughs> Round three, BB. <laughs> Battle again, Sam rules. <laughs> pick my team. I hope you guys are ready because this is about to be the greatest match whether we win or lose props to my opponent props to the ddd sorry you guys can probably hear all my aggressive typing <laughs> let's take a look at his team because Leafeon outspeeds Flareon, Hatterene, Lilligant outspeeds Hatterene, Ginga. Charizard, what can you do? Go for it. Go for it. We'll see if we can get Stealth Rocks to do what Stealth Rocks do. Yo, his character is actually pretty sweet looking too. I do love his character in this game. Oh, he brought Sandy Shocks in. Interesting toys. I'm still using stealth rocks. I do not. He's doing the same thing. Oh, I realized right, right as. <laughs> Great minds think alike, I suppose. Oh. 
we're gonna hit him with solar beam. He might not realize I have solar beam. Thunderbolt, we can take it. Oh boy. Oh boy, 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 boy. Definitely forgot about that. Definitely forgot about that. Definitely forgot about that. Seed bomb, as you do, as I do. Waver, okay, okay, cool, 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 Leafeon can't survive against this guy, unfortunately, because he's got, um, he's got L moves, he's got flying moves, is what I mean. He's the airbender. No, I've the last airbender. Toxicroak just fucking... <sighs> I didn't realize that type of thing. I gotta stop using Toxicroak, I just like him because he's cool. He's a cool Pokemon. Uh, da, 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 do, da, da. He already knows what's coming. This muffle is going to sleep. Right? He's the only one. He's the only one. I'm not I'm not mistaken on this. I'm fairly certain. Okay. Good. At this point he knows my strategy. He knows I'm quiver dancing. I'm thwasalizing along the way. Ow. Nice job, Lilligant. Ooh, Lilligant. Oh my gosh. Avoided the attack? You're kidding. Guess what, Noivern? Guess what? Ooh. I feel like this is too much of a risk. But sleep powder is not a risk. <laughs> stupid Noivern. Looking all stupid and shit. I wish I paid attention to how much damage uh, these attacks will would do. Well, he... Uh, you know, to Noivern specifically. In the previous four battles that we've had. That makes me so annoyed. But now at this stage, if he decides to uh, swap out Noivern, no matter what happens when Noivern comes back, he faints. Doesn't matter anyway. Noivern goes down. Since Noivern's dead, there's no other Pokemon asleep, which means I can put his next Pokemon to sleep. The one after that, the one after that, assuming that none of them are asleep at the same exact time. <laughs> what you got for us, Psyducks? Natural born enemy of the diamond desert dwellers. Ding! -ah. Easy money, baby. We hit him with a tarot blast. Gengar's a bit of a glass cannon, but if Gengar can get his moves off, he's fucking. Like I said he's a glass cannon, he gets his move off. It's a hit. But he gets hit, it's a hit. So, trade off. 
Gengar goes gang down. I'm interested to see his strategy. If he brings out Hatterene, he knows Giga Drain's gonna wreck Hatterene. Sandy Shocks. Sandy Shocks! Do we have a way to take down Sandy Shocks? I'm sure we do. Are we faster? This is question. It appears we are not. There's no way. There's no way. Oh my gosh. Oh no. <laughs> I didn't see this side of his team before. Tiniest violin. <sighs> that is scary, my guy. Um. <laughs> oh, yes, yes, yes. That's what I'm here for. That worked out amazing. I think I am faster, especially with chlorophyll. Let's get it done. Lilligant, it's all on you. You've got teammates relying on you. Go, go. If you are enjoying this match, I want to see it down in the comments. Go. Go. Lily, go. <laughs> what an awful turn of events. <laughs> Sandy Shocks! No, we didn't put his other Pokemon to sleep. Okay, I was like, wait, we didn't just screw up again, did we? Oh, Link for the blue. Oh, man, I hate this. Special attack, special defense, and speed stats. Let's do Quiver Dance. I think we can get through Quiver Dance. And hopefully he doesn't wake up. Nice. Nice. Oh, hi, Honeycomb. Honeycomb's in the room now. He's sleeping. Giga Drain. Get as much of that HP back as possible. Fast asleep. Perfect. We go first after this regardless. Blast. Love to see it. Love to see it. Good job, Lilligant. Who we got? Flareon? Flareon, really? It's a unique. Oh. Maybe it's not unique anything. Lily can't know how to deal with Flareon.
And just for context, I hate using sleep, like the idea of it, but other people will use things like that. So I'm trying really hard to get over it, you know? Um, but it seems a little gimmicky. Uh, but when you put that move on the Lilligant with Torkoal and the Sky and the Chlorophyll and the Terra, it's all so good. Palafin may be one of my new po favorite Pokemon ever. Ever. <laughs> so good. So good. Well, that was a <laughs> that was an incredible match. I gotta say, hats off to um, the mighty Psyducks. Uh, like I said, I'm pretty sure I've been on a podcast with them before. And great people, great people. Head coach, fantastic. Uh, this team really gave me a run for my money, uh, and I'm really grateful I got a do over. Um, but I I also recognize. He had me on the ropes for like most of the evening and that's pretty cool it's great absolutely phenomenal so thank you guys for watching i really appreciate you uh please make sure you are subscribed if you are not and now we'll see you guys out in the next one thank you so much for following my journey so far with the global pokemon Tashade.